Today we've got the Robot Geek Halloween How To. We're going to show you how to take Robot Geek electronics, sensors, outputs, and add a little bit of Arduino to your Halloween decorations. So here we've got our normal Geek Duino, the programmable Arduino based microcontroller, and our sensor shield makes it easy to plug everything into our Geek Duino. And for our inputs, we're going to be using first this floor mat switch. So this is a flat switch that just acts like a normal momentary push switch whenever you step on it. It needs about 60 pounds of force to activate. You can put a floor mat on it, anything that is nice and flat, and when someone steps on it, it will connect a circuit. We also have this PIR, passive infrared motion sensor, and this is going to detect body heat. So any body heat in the area will turn the sensor on and send a signal to your Geek Duino. For our outputs, we're going to be using this relay, and we can use this uh, relay for small voltages, so anything from 3 to 24 volts DC. And these are really great for powering or just making connections like connections on a button switch. We've also got the power switch tail. So this is a really big beefy relay. You can use this to control 120 volts AC up to 15 amps. So it can be really nice for controlling lights, leaf blowers, um, boom boxes, anything that you would normally plug into the wall. So first I'm going to show you using my friend here. And this is just a prop that you'll get from the Halloween store. Usually it will automatically do something, make some sounds, move. And a lot of them nowadays have a little push button that usually you use to test them at the store. So you press the button and then it does whatever it's going to do. This is really nice for us because we'll be able to cut the wires off this, splice it into our relay, and then the Geekduino will be able to control the device just as if we were pushing that button. So I've got this all coded up so that when I put the floor mat on, pull it. So it's just sending a signal, the only one that can save you? just as if I had pushed the button. We've got some other options for these relays too. I'm going to unplug this first relay and plug in the second one. This one actually has power going into the siren. So I'm going to be able to use this to activate the siren. This one's pretty loud. Um, this one's a 6 volt siren. And really, you can use just about any sort of siren you want. You just need to make sure your power supply is correctly rated. In my case, I'm using this um, cord here, this squid power cable, so I can actually power my Geek Duino and the siren from the same power supply. If you're using something like a motor or something that's going to be pulling a little bit more power, you might need a separate power supply. So now I'm going to unplug the siren, plug in my power switch tail. Like I said before, anything that will plug in your wall outlet, I've got my power in here, I've got my output here, and I've got this leaf blower that we were able to get on Amazon. Um, we attached a little bit of plastic here so that if you put it on your walkway, maybe it'll hit someone in the leg. As I turn this on, it's going to turn my device on. So you can imagine if you had some strobe lights, maybe you have um, a boombox playing cassette with some spooky sounds. Anything that you plug in the wall, you'll be able to control from your Geek Duino. So the PIR sensor can be used to control any of our devices, whether it's our prop, our siren, our leaf blower, or pretty much anything else. So with this one, when it sees my hand, it'll activate the prop. So just like I use a floor mat, I can swap this in or really any other sensor. You've got voltage sensors, you've got distance sensors, all sorts of different things that you could add in and change this project to. We're going to have a full write-up on how to wire up all these different devices. We're also going to have some tips and tricks for different ways that you might be able to work with some of these props and all of our schematics, code, everything that you need to get your Halloween project up and running. We want to see what you do with this, so if you guys can get some reaction shots from different people stepping on your floor mat, coming in your yard, we'd absolutely love to see it. Keep an eye on our YouTube channel and we'll be posting some of our results from our scary Arduino experiments.